my dear friends in the in this second part of lines and angles we are going to discuss few more important and interesting things so you might have heard about parallel lines two lines two lines are called parallel lines when two lines are called parallel when they in they do not intersect each other and lying on the same plane they should lie on the same plane and they should not intersect each other so these kind of lines are called parallel lines and lines are called these are parallel lines parallel lines and if they are not parallel and lying on the same plane again if they are not parallel and lying on the same plane it means they will be intersecting each other they will be intersecting each other they are called intersecting lines you can say that this is a line this is a line where are they intersecting so my dear friends in the last video i told you that a line has length infinite it is it can be a line segment but it is not a line so line is having its length infinite even this is having length infinite so certainly they will be intersecting at some point so if two lines are not parallel means lines are intersecting each other they will be intersecting each other definitely so now let's come to few more important and interesting things two lines are parallel and a line intersects like this this line is called transversal line what kind of line is called transversal so if i go to the definition of transversal then transversal line is a line which intersects two or more lines so what kind of line is transversal a line which intersects which intersects intersects two or more lines two or more lines okay two or more lines and of course they are lying on the same plane lying on the same plane okay on the same plane same plane so the figure should be like this this is a line this is a line intersecting by a line this line will be called transversal line see what kind of line is this this is a transversal line and of course even this is a transversal line and this transversal line is intersecting two parallel lines this transversal line is intersecting two parallel lines so now i think it is clear to you that if lines are transversal line means a line which is intersecting two or more lines and here the line is intersecting two parallel line parallel lines therefore this line is a transversal line now let's come to an exam a most important exam this exam says if a transversal line if a transversal line intersects two parallel lines then these two angles this angle and this angle these two angles will be equal these two angles will be equal if this is x degree then this will be x degree and this you can experience this is a matter of experiencing the thing that is why this is called axiom and it does not require to prove it these two angles are what 
these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal and called corresponding angles what angles are there they are corresponding angles these two angles are called corresponding angles and that is why this property is called corresponding axiom corresponding angle axiom what kind of property is this corresponding angle axiom okay so i hope this is clear to you that these two angles will be equal and of course these two will be equal why again the same concept this is these two angles are interior and this is exterior of this this is exterior of this this is exterior of this if these two are equal then these two are equal y degree y degree okay and y degree is what y degree is 180 degree minus x degree why because x degree and y degree they are lying on on a straight line therefore x degree plus y degree is what 180 degree and similarly here even this is what even this is 180 degree minus x degree linear pairs linear angle pairs so x degree plus y degree is what 180 degree and that is why these two angles are equal and why are they equal again the same concept the same property and now let's come to another kind of angles vertical angles vertically opposite angle or i should say vertically opposite opposite if two lines intersecting each other then you can see this angle and this angle this angle and this angle both the angles are equal you can see here same line same line these two angles are equal if this is z degree then this will be z degree and if this is what this is what if this is w degree then this will be what w degree i hope it is clear to you these two will be same these two will be same and what kind of angles are they they are called vertically opposite so they are vertically opposite again i draw the same figure and let's discuss important things these two lines are parallel this angle is what x degree okay and this will be what this will be what x degree why this is x degree because of vert they are vertically opposite so to prove this we can use the concept okay let's see why are they x degree x degree same this is what this is what this is 180 degree minus x degree okay and this will be what this will be what this is 180 degree minus x degree and this is because they are lying on a line these two they are linear pair therefore this will be 180 degree minus 180 degree minus x degree so minus 180 180 degree can will be cancelled minus minus becomes plus and x degree that is why these two angles are same so x degree this is x degree and this is x degree why because they are vertically opposite this is x degree x degree why corresponding angles 
but you can see here this is x degree and this is x degree let's name them let this be 1 this be 2 this be 3 this be 4 5 6 7 and now let's try to define which angle is equal to which and why so first of all angle 1 angle 1 is what x degree same as same as angle 2 corresponding angle because of corresponding angles okay angle 5 is equal to angle 4 angle 5 is equal to angle 4 and value will be what 180 degree minus x degree again the same concept corresponding angle this let's say this angle is 7 angle 1 is equal to angle 3 vertically opposite angle 5 is equal to angle 7 vertically opposite angle 4 is equal to angle 6 vertically opposite angle 2 is equal to angle 7 vertically opposite vertically opposite this is x degree this is x degree because of because these are vertically opposite and this is what x degree now you can see angle 3 is equal to angle 2 and if this is x degree then naturally this will be 180 degree minus x degree okay linear pair or other concept these two are vertically opposite so these two are vertically opposite and here if it is x degree this will be 180 degree minus x degree means this angle is equal to this angle angle 7 is equal to angle 4 angle 7 is equal to angle 4 angle 3 is equal to angle 2 angle 3 is equal to angle 2 and if this is 180 degree so these two are same this and this this and this so they are called interior alternate angles which angles this 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 pair 3 2 4 7 interior alternate angles and this angle 5 see angle 5 180 degree minus x degree even this being vertically opposite 180 degree minus x degree angle 6 is equal to angle 5 angle 6 is equal to angle 5 these angles and this is x degree this is x degree corresponding and being vertically opposite this is x degree angle 1 is equal to angle 7 exterior alternate exterior alternate angles so we have seen what are corresponding angles what are vertically opposite angles and what are interior alternate angles and this pair this pair of angle 2 angle 7 angle 2 angle 7 and this pair of angle 3 angle 4 these two pairs are called consecutive interior what are they they are called consecutive interior and you can see some of these two angle 2 plus angle 7 if i add these two x degree x degree cancelled 180 degree and similarly if i add these two angle 3 
एंगल फोर x डिग्री x डिग्री गेट कैंसल सो आंसर इज 180 एट्टी डिग्री सो सम ऑफ कॉन्जिकेटिव इंटीरियर इज वॉट सम ऑफ कॉन्जिकेटिव इंटीरियर इज सम ऑफ कॉन्जिकेटिव इंटीरियर एंगल्स इज 180 एट्टी डिग्री इज वॉट वन एट्टी डिग्री सो वी हैव सीन कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग वर्टिकली अपोजिट अल्टरनेट एंड इन अल्टरनेट देर आर टू टाइप्स इंटरनल इंटीरियर एंड एक्सटीरियर एंड द लास्ट वन इज दिस सम ऑफ कॉन्जिकेटिव इंटीरियर एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी कुड नॉट डिस्कस अबाउट एंगल बायसेक्टर सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट एंगल बायसेक्टर हियर वट वट इज एंगल बायसेक्टर If there is an angle A B A C B A C, then a ray A P, then a ray A P is called angle bisector if it is originated from A and divides. the whole angle bac angle bac or you can write angle cab no issue angle cab and angle bac both are same angle bac and angle cab both are same and if this ray ap divides into two equal parts means in equal angles to this angle bac suppose if bac is 45 degree then this is 22.5 degree 22.5 degree then this 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 ray divides into equal angles therefore this angle and this angle will be same and this ap is called angle bisector and if suppose if it, it is x degree and if it is x degree then ap is called AP is what angle bisector of this angle bisector of angle BAC okay so i think this angle bisector's concept is clear to you in the next video we are going to practice questions based upon these concepts which we have discussed in first video and in the second video so my best wishes with you be remain with me for the next video in the next video so we are going to discuss more problems more practical problems re related to your topic so good luck to you my dear students